What up, what up, what up, world? It's your boy OCB, man. Thanks for tuning in, man. This your boy OCB. I need y'all to go and get y'all shots up in the air because you know what time it is. It's shot word time. But like shot. I said, thank y'all for joining us tonight, man. Y'all share, 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 tell a friend and share again. Man, send them stars, send them too, stars baby. You know what I'm saying? So we can keep on sending this great content to you. You know what I'm saying? Shot word of the day. What is it, baby? X Factor. X Factor, <laughs> man. Big us, man. Big, Big us. Big us. Shout out to Lauren Hill, Miss Lauren Hill, mm-hmm. for the X Factor. Woo! Ay, ay, ay. Yes, that's yes. Oh, <laughs> tequila. Yeah, that's tequila today. We used to be on vodka, you know what I mean? Had to change it up. Yeah, yeah, switch up the program. For the culture. Yeah. <laughs> I just should have mixed some water with it. <laughs> you don't like it? Oh, yeah, I like it, but goddamn. Hey, you know Dwayne yeah. and Rock Johnson, he in town. And his favorite thing to drink is tequila. Oh, we need up. to pull up on them. Pull up on, pull up on us. Pull up on them. <laughs> All right. Now, people, tell y'all about this conversation <laughs> we're having this evening. Oh, my goodness. This X Factor. And my <laughs> wife is going to explain to you what this is. <laughs> Go ahead, baby. Look at the way he said it. My wife is going to explain <laughs> to you what it is. Okay. So, um... I don't know how we came up with this topic. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you, like I was, I, I would, I'd be listening to other podcasts and different things like that, and a lot of people, everything's like a uh, relationship based. Okay. But I never hear people talk about why uh you left your, uh, they left their old relationship to get into a new. You know what I mean? And I get to digging and digging. I'm like, you know what? Some people happy, and some people sad that they left. Why is that? You know right. what I'm saying? Was right. it something they, they owe mate or? Partner left, you know what I'm saying, did to him or mm-hmm. stuff like that. So I started doing my little research and came up with the X Factor. I want to know know how much uh or do you talk about your last relationship to your with your new mate? Yeah, should you talk about should it? Should you talk about should it? Or is it a good it? thing or bad thing or what? Right. Yeah, because I, I think it's important to make sure that you know everything is out in the open. Of course, when you're dating somebody, sometimes you don't even know that. You know, it's going to even get that far. Right, right. You know, you right, don't even know right. if they're going to be a potential mate. It's just, you know, getting yeah. that phase of getting to know each other. So, right. uh, but if it does, you right, know, kind of right. get and there, there are some things that you, you might want to talk you about. Might, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like what know. people always say, I know older people tell me when I, uh, if you don't nip things in the bud now, you don't have to worry about them. That's true. Yeah, you feel you what I'm saying? Make sure everything I'm, is out and open. So uh, just go ahead and read that, then we'll get into detail. Okay. Well, like I said, um, trust is the key to every healthy relationship and talking openly about your past relationships with your current partner should not be a problem. Now, it should not be. It just it depends on right. the circumstances of the situation. Mm, right, right, okay, right, right. Sometimes you just can't do that because you might have a je- really jealous hearted person. Right, right. And, you know, they, you know, start, you know, acting up when you start talking about somebody else. Right. So you want to do it. They say you want to do it in the early stages of the relationship. You want to okay. Now, um, what's the early stage? And, and that's honest. the thing that I want to discuss too. While we're right there, uh, what what is too early? You know what I'm saying? How far along <laughs> do you get into a relationship before you start talking about your ex? You know what I'm saying? And well, they what don't they want you did. talking about them. But I'm just saying every. I mean, no, not I, the whole time. I didn't but say I, it's like, question. I'm saying when is the time that you you know actually how long into your relationship do you Actually, bring it up. You know, that's what I'm up to the people. Yeah, I, that's right, up to the right. person. Like, I, I would up? say, I would say, during the beginning stages when you first dating, let, 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 let's see what parameters we, we based off of. Yeah, so you, know you don't mean? like spun, just throw it out there. Yeah, a, a little bit at a time. Let me figure out what, what your situation was. You figure out what my right. situation was, and see. And, 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 Sometimes that helps to see if we work. Right, because exactly, exactly. I could have been the problem in this situation, or you could have been the problem in this situation. In the last, if so you're not ready to acknowledge that, right? Then, what we what we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think too, you know, it like I said, it depends on the person because if you're on that first date, you don't want to monopolize the whole date talking about your ex, you know. Exactly. But you do, you know, at some point it when that date becomes a second date, yeah, or whatever, then you probably and you know whether or not y'all digging each other or not, right. and you might want to say, so you know, you know, ask them about you know the previous relationship, yeah, uh subtly, you know, right. like uh so. With this, with this other, what was it like with this other person or whatever? But right. you can subtly ask them, right. you know, you know, so that um, history won't repeat itself. Right, and exactly. I think that's the goal, right? Yeah. So you uh, to grow, 
Exactly. So stuff won't repeat because I left the relationship for that. But I think like I think like you should talk about it soon. So yeah. you know, because people got a habit of like, uh, like that you'll do something. Uh, I remember my oh don't, don't bring really like, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. But see, I didn't know that. I right. have had, like you know a lot of people got similar a similar habit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then right. you know you have other people that blame you for like, uh, all y'all are like, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Are yeah. you an Aquarius? That shit. <laughs> I'm a hermit. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I'm a hermit. Yeah. Right, but you don't right, want right. history to repeat itself. So, how, so you bring so, up that, right? So do you uh, do you talk about um, is sex involved and like uh, what you like and you don't like? Well, I'll be creeped out. Or is it just... Uh, <laughs> I'll be creeped out the first, uh, you know, time. Right. But eventually when No, you I'm just start, saying. I ain't saying like... First, yeah, I'm not even you, talking about the first date. You, I'm just yeah, saying like how... when you get on into the relationship... When you get comfortable. I wouldn't say, uh, so were they better than me or something like nah, that. No, 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 But nah, nah, you nah. would say... I'm just saying like certain yeah. people have like certain things. Do you talk about that? Well, it just depends on what you, what you want and what you're looking for. Because you can start talking about what somebody else did... And it may offend, you know, the person that you with because right. they're like, "Well, I ain't finna do that." Because see, you know right. what I'm saying. I, I found a lot of problems <laughs> dealing with, with with one of my exes with that. It was like it was always with, I'm it's like she tried to build a com- a competition in a sense. Well, you're talking about against the yo, yeah, yeah, who you with? Who yeah, you yeah, like, who yeah. You yeah. Well, well, my ex was like this and that. There. I'm like, well, if he, if he was so great, you would be with him. Right. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be in this position to talk to you. So right. we we don't we don't we don't we shouldn't bring up our exes in in a sense to. Put humiliate the, or put yeah, down yeah, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. the parent partner. Mm. Come on, but but some people will do that. that that's why I feel what you said. It's just like how far <laughs> do you go, or what extent do you talk about? We, 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 of course, you're not gonna bring up sex. Right, right. So we got a call to come in. Hold on, hold on. One, one hot second. Let me get... What up? What up? This show boy OCB. Who I'm talking to? Night, hey, Randell. What's up, my friend? My friend right. Randell What's on this up? end. Randell, Randell. I ain't Randell. heard you and Minnie Moon, sir. <laughs> hey, I got I got a little distracted. Got a little distracted. Um, um what what's the name of the show today? Man, we talking about I've been on the level. <laughs> <laughs> so we talking about uh X Factor. We're talking about how much of your uh, old relationship or how much of your ex do you bring into your new relationship? Oh, okay, okay. One day gonna put y'all on some Mac ology. Okay, <laughs> um, ology. Uh, y'all know this that lady that sing a song. I've been around the world and I, I can't find my baby. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. I feel like this song was about me. Why? You want to know why? Yeah. Cause I went stunning ass. <laughs> right there, so I don't see me out the dog. Uh, and he out just like this. All right. <laughs> you know that was that. right there, man. You know, right there, he always gonna call in and say something crazy. He, 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 he don't, don't, he don't care about your feelings. Right. He don't care about the show is over. Or he'll call in when the show is over. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Or just call and just hang up. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so we're talking about uh what went wrong. So a good thing to probably ask them in your previous relationship. Uh, well, we, you know, what are some of the things that went wrong so you can try to avoid those things? And uh, the some of the reasons we have here listed um, on my screen um, mm. is um, different levels of commitment. Mm-hmm. So let's say one person, you know, they were like, out. well, I ain't gonna say our way. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, usually when you get into your 30s <laughs> or maybe earlier than that you, you feel grown. like look I, I'm grown now I've been like Rondell said I've been around the world and I yeah yeah and I yeah yeah <laughs> so <laughs> now you look into you you know you're, you're you're intentional and serious about what you're looking for mm-hmm. so you're like okay so you know right off the bat you don't scare them away and tell them hey I just want to get married but you do tell them that I'm looking for a committed relationship. But like when you get older though, like some people like that's why like uh soon as you know you get in a relationship, you want to get married. Especially when you're yeah, up, yeah, like, you older because older. you know what you want. Or yeah. uh, or if you're already 28 and got five uh, <laughs> uh babies. Kids. But <laughs> you better be figuring something out, man. Yeah, yeah you like, know what you want. I need some yeah. help. No, they really, yeah, I need, I need some, some help. help. <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot me? of groceries. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Some, okay, uh Frederick. Hold on, hold on. We got another call. Another uh, call. Hold on, hold on. We got the hotline going tonight, Hot baby. Tonight. Go ahead, go ahead. This your boy OCB, man. Who I'm talking to? 
Hey, what's going on? This Chef Lee. Man, what up, Chef Lee? What's up, Chef? Chef in the Let me round. Yes, yeah, Chef. Man, what's going on? Round of applause, round of applause, Chef Lee. Chef in the building. You did. What's going on, Chef? You got something you need to get off your chest, sir? I know it's been a while, but um, y'all talking on a on a good subject and we are just uh just to, just to elaborate. Well, one of the, well the subject that kind of interests me real well. Okay, but. Um, just to elaborate, when you guys say, when is the best time to talk about certain things mm -hmm. in the new relationship? Right. And I find out that in my past and in my experience is that in the in the beginning of a new relationship, you want to really just focus on each other, getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. And it, there's a there's a time will let you know in the relationship as to when you want to talk about previous relationships. Right. So do you wait? Um, so do you wait until uh stuff gets stirred up, you know, and wonder why they exactly, acting well, funny? Or do you or do well, you well well exactly, exactly. Because here's the thing. I don't want to give you any information to judge me by. Right. If I if I'm if I'm if I'm dating you, I want to know you for who you are. And I want you to know me for who I am. Mm -hmm. So when I when I'm the guy that when when you find out that man, I'm this great guy, or I find out that, oh, you this awesome girl, okay, now you can say, man, what what happened? What happened? You know what I'm saying? Why are you single? Yeah. And that's a common thing to say. Right. So now and you people, can go into, and you can kind of, and you can kind of say, well, people do use those things against God, you. Blah, 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 blah. Right, but you keep it to a minimum. Yeah. Because okay. so, sometimes people, sometimes in new relationships, people want to, um, they want to set themselves up to to be judged in a way where they want to be felt sorry for, and yeah, sometimes you end yeah. up in that relationship. Party. And mm -hmm. and and now now because you told me the story why I'm on your last relationship, now I'm feeling sorry for you. Yeah. Now you know yeah, what I'm saying I'm trying shivers. to treat you special, yeah. right? Right. Yeah. So now I'm not I'm not I'm not treating you authentically right. on how I how I um how I, you know how how you taught me about yourself. Sense. But isn't right. it a good idea for me to let you know how to handle me? <laughs> They, they, they you make know, sense. Well, well, because well, you got well, a lot right, of trauma right and past things that, that go on in a right, but you're right, society. but you're not right, but you're not direct with that. You know what I'm saying? You want to mm -hmm. keep things to a minimum because the main focus in a new relationship is that you want to learn about each other. You want to you want to have the opportunity to have to, to to not give the opportunity to to prejudge the person based on their past relationship, and it's easier to do that when you know too much too soon. So I, if I'm giving totally you, if, if I, right, if, if I if I know that I've learned from my past experience, and I'm what I'm going to give you is my my self development, my maturity from what I learned in my past relationship, and I'm gonna build on that, and I'm gonna let you say, hey, you know what, you are an awesome guy, you know what I'm saying? Well, so I, then, I, I, but I feel like at some point that a person would still do that. It, it depends on like, like like you said earlier a moment ago. It depends on really the timing. In it because yeah. a right. person would still but, a, a person would still find those certain distinctions in, in your past relationship and still try to use it against you whereas in the front end or the right. back end. Yeah, so and, 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 yeah. right. uh -huh. and, and one more yeah. thing before I go, go like, man, you you and you kind of answered yourself a moment ago when you said that sometimes your ex will will will, will, will do that. They'll yeah, use that yeah. against you. Yeah. Right. And so that's that really asks your question. You when you say, Well, how well, how long should I wait before I tell? You don't have to tell nobody anything. Let them learn you in the wrong, and you learn them in the wrong. I can feel right, you so can you, know them. I guess. Hmm? Right, I, right, I feel, right. I feel, I feel. Right, because the uh, the book you're gonna reveal yourself sooner or later. Mm, that mask so, don't come off. Actually, Maybe. I, I, right. Actually, now now you have a brand new beginning because you're whatever age and you're out there in the dating world. You have a you have a new beginning to be the person that you want to be toward that person. So, so do you and think? So, do you think like? Uh, so, you saying unpack your baggage slowly, or you, so? Or not at all? Yeah. Or not at all. I think you know what I mean? Not at all. I think he's saying not at all. No, he I says. I mean, I, I heard. Mean, I heard, I heard he slowly. Said, he said I heard only slowly. When, you, when, when it come up, then you unpack the bag. I feel like he said right. only when it's, necessary. Right. Yeah, because a lot right. of people bring right. a lot because of baggage with them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And they do. Yeah, and they do. But it's going to reveal itself. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So sometimes that allow you to decide whether I'm gonna. Help you unpack, or that gives me opportunity to. If I get to know you, and I see you, you know what? You're not yeah. a bad person. See the more okay, you know you that going individual, you got this going on. Okay, you know what? 
I'm gonna I'm 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 hang out with you on this because, but if you give me all this too much, I'm like, oh, now I'm gonna run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> that's a red flag. Like, because that's what you Your energy is still there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's still there. Right. Yeah. But sometimes right. people just volunteer so, that information about their past relationship because they don't want you to be like that, that person. person yeah. So they'll say, right. well, my last uh, girlfriend, uh, right. uh, she right. didn't respect me right. or, you know, whatever. And that kind and of time right. person we, out too, you know. Right. And we should never say nothing about our exes ever until we're down further in the relationship and you only use your ex when it applies to a situation that you might be encountering at that time in your new relationship. You use that as a reference, but not as something to downgrade somebody, but as to build while you are, you know, while you are single, while you became single, right. but you've learned from that. And this is what I'm going to tolerate. Right. I'm not going to tolerate this or this, you know what I'm saying? To that degree. Right, got you, got you. That's yeah. what's up, man. From Chef Lee, Chef, he cooking this evening. Yes, Chef. He, he, cook, like, oh, yeah. he cooking with the words. He cooking with the words this evening. You know what I mean? Instead of the yeah, food. Yeah. So, uh, Chef Lee, Chef, when are you gonna be back? Start back cooking again. What's on the menu? Oh, man, I'm, I'm a, man. I'm always cooking, man. I'm cooking. When I, I'm cooking when I don't cook. Nah, already, already. Yes, sure. <laughs> That's what's up, man. Yeah. Thanks oh. for calling in, man. Appreciate those wise words from a great man. You dig what I'm saying? Big Ennis. All right, y'all be good. All right, sir. Yeah, yeah. That was Chef Lee Chef, man, tuning in. <clears throat> and we got uh Recon, we got him over here. He ain't said a word. Are you I'm old? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he basking in the army hunts. Man. Damn, really, I <laughs> thought he was asleep because I was looking on the camera. I saw his head. <laughs> you know what I mean? But do you have anything you want to uh, add to the conversation, sir? He's trying not to get in trouble, people. Yeah. That's why he like he's trying to use his words very yeah, carefully. You dig what I yeah, said? My wife, she like, like the police when it comes to the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I say can and will be used against me. <laughs> <laughs> and it won't be tomorrow. It'll be three months down the road. Damn. <laughs> she no. gonna pack it lightly. Nah, it's no nah, shit. It'll be a duffel bag, hit me in the head. <laughs> 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 no, uh, Man, I think all past relationships build character in some form or another, you know. So, but I think there's a lot of variables that go into that situation. Like for my my past relationships, I had kids. So right. with my wife now, she come into a situation having to deal with right. the ex. Yeah. And so there's all the stories of what happened, how it happened. And so you... you you got to explain yeah, some of those. Yeah, so it's one of those where, but I was real honest. I mean, I mm -hmm. we 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 drifted away from each other to a point to where. Was it because of the harsh uh, truth or because of you, uh, you hid something? No, nah, we just, uh, I mean, there's a couple of different factors. We were together for a while and just, just to a point to where we just woke up. And and looked at each other and like two damn, different we're people. still here. Right. Yeah. 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 Just different people. Yeah, we just, you know. Mm. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and it happens. And so we, like, but even like even in, in that, like when going from an old relationship to a new one, how much of that do you bring into your new one? Because you have some crazy ass exes. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, no, they yeah. try to break. Like I think you were saying it earlier. They try yeah. to uh, sabotage your new relationship yeah. mm -hmm. just because y'all didn't work. Well, I, right. I know I sabotaged my. Oh, actually. you did it, Joseph. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did because okay. you know, coming out. You know, I was in the in the military, so I didn't have the young good times and this that and the other. And so I was out partying with friends and this that and the other. We have a kid. Don't drinking. look at me when you say that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it did. He look at you, he look at me. He closed eyes, man. <laughs> but, uh, and so I drank a lot. And then I, I realized, but see, I realized what I was doing. So when I found the one that I knew I was going to be with, that I really loved, I gave it all up. Yeah, but, but that's part of my growing, because I knew who I was. You know, I'm one of three people when I started drinking. I don't like any of them bastards. Got you. I, that, I mean, it makes I, sense. I, I, makes I sense. did it, yeah. So, yeah. You know, I do a lot of stupid shit. Right, you know, right, like, right. And that's called self-control. So To even know that. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. To I mean, identify it. Yeah, so did it. Like, I guess, uh, like, uh, it takes... Sometimes you get in... Even though you have kids by people, sometimes situations just messed up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You feel what I mean? You Because a lot of us, uh, and I hate to say this, we have kids uh, unintentional. Mm -hmm. Right. 
Mm-hmm. I don't think most people playing kids anymore. No, nah, no. Nah. In a way. So now you got to, you building up all of this uh, resentment, regret, you know what I'm saying? All of this. And right. with somebody, you know, because you're in a relationship with somebody you don't even like. Then you got all of this baggage you got to take to somebody yeah. that you actually like. So you got to try yeah. to explain, like, okay, I did this, but that don't mean I liked them. It right. was just a situation. Yeah, that's and that just... shit kind of hard to explain a lot of the, you know, a lot of the time. It you is. know what I mean? Because most is. people think, like, just because you with them, you like, yeah, you like something about them. Right. Not necessary. Sometimes it's just a situation. Or, or if you, it, it, the sense in the manner that you talk about the ex relationship, the people will look at you like, damn, you put a lot of energy into how you're expressing it. You must not be done with this situation. Or maybe I'm just trying to get you to realize that this is something that I'm not, like, like Sis said, mm-hmm. maybe this is something that I'm just really not going to go for anymore. Right. And, and, and like you, you can be traumatized by certain things from, from previous relationships. And there's, there's some reason why people, or bring it up in the oh, beginning. I uh, my first one, when I first got out of the military, man, I was in love. Mm-hmm. And she, she, she was in love with everybody else. See, uh, you know, and so, right. and then I started having bad trust issues because, you, you know, I was at work because I don't like feeling stupid, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then I felt like when I found out everything, it was like right up underneath my nose and I felt like a moron. Yeah. And I carried that with me for a while and it right. kind of screwed up other relationships. And then it been yeah, great yeah, yeah. because <clears throat> of, of what. So have you done. ever said that to like, your new wife, or yeah, like, yeah, she yeah, used yeah, that yeah. shit against me all the time. Uh, even though, but you, but your conscience cleared from you saying it though. Yeah, right? but right. I mean, oh, I, how you? I mean, I don't it know. is. It just pissed me off when we will get into an argument because my wife's, you know, she wears a bar. I'm like, look, I don't like this and I don't like that. Well, you know what? You you can't base me off of such and such. So I was like, right. wait a minute, now that's a totally different subject. Right. But it's one of those like she knows because I told her. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so if if she's being defensive, yeah. then she'll. Bring it up, and so I have to backtrack and kind of, uh, yeah. Like I got you, I got you, because I mean, even the being defensive is a part. It comes from somewhere from a defense people. mechanism. You know but, what I mean? But, like but, why are you like that? Why we can't just have an open, honest relationship? Why you gotta feel? Oh, I'm being honest, but now you trying to protect yourself from my honesty. I get it, but why can't why if we love each other like we say or like each other like we say? With why why we just can't leave? Let the uh, river just flow. You know right. what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you, you tell me. I tell you, you feel what I mean? Mm-hmm. So we get a uh, complete understanding. So we won't have that in our way. See, see, when I, something really happens, well, see, you know I, what I mean? See, I find that if I bottle stuff up, then I explode. So right. I like to vent. And right. it's not necessarily like I'm talking shit as much as I'm, I got to get it off my chest. That way yeah. I feel better and you know the right. situation that so I'm that's feeling. The, that's that the I'm history in. repeating itself. And so, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? But, but, well, kind a of, but at cycle. least this time, I'm being honest with, the person that I love, they're like, look, you know, I really don't feel comfortable with this, this, and this. And that's something it's about one more time. And I'm like, right. you know, it's like, oh, you know right. what? You're just being jealous. You need to calm down. Well, maybe you're right. But at least I See, feel better now I say it. I, I, I was told that, that I was being jealous. I'm like, how am I being jealous when, put it like this, like, if, if, if I'm dealing with a situation and I feel like if every time I'm dealing with a situation, dealing with us, then you got to bring up your ex as if they handled it in a better fashion. And I'm like, well, if they handle it in a better fashion, why am I in this situation to be handling with you know? I don't right. I, the, the, to me, to me, that's condescending, mm-hmm. and you use that to put somebody down. And then you'll turn around in, in the same sense, mm-hmm. like uh, like 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 Chef Lee was saying earlier, if you tell them too much of your traumas, they'll try to turn it around and, 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 and use that to, to to further their narrative. So, so do you uh, so do you uh, consider that a red flag? Like, or like when you know that stuff, hold on. So every time I tell you something. You gonna turn around on me? You, I might need to right. get out that relationship anyway. Right. You feel what I mean? Like I'm just saying, cause you. To you me, that, are, that was a red. It's, it's red like flag. a red family. Well, well, I mean, but, in, 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 in for instance, my situation. Yeah. She, she, that that's not a red flag, cause most time when I'm bitten, like it sounds, cause you know I do my eyebrows like this, I look pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't pissed. Yeah. But yeah, yeah I yeah. just, uh, you know. Yeah. Just, but. She already knows me, and so she'll, right. she'll try to tame it before. I guess and so. I so, guess. but but sometimes I'm being real, and she's trying to tame it when I just want her to not listen to me to respond, just listen to me. So you can that's, hear and it. That's, a, and that's I mean. the thing with exactly. people too, man. Like sometimes I, you know, we talk to each other, even your whoever you with. <clears throat> I ain't I ain't trying to get you to fix me. Yeah, it's like Rick Hunt said. I just don't want to explode. Right. You know what I mean? Like I right. literally don't want to explode. So I. Don't try to tell me what I should do, what I right. should. I ain't trying to hit it. I just need somebody to talk to when I 
you supposed to be my who I'm with. Yeah, don't look at it through your filter. Look at it through right, mine. Right, 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 right. And it's a big uh, thing. Like we talk about, uh, look at me with empathy. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, exactly. But like, just understand it from my point of view. I ain't, I don't need. And then my thing is this too. As a man, I feel like if I'm in a relationship with you, if, if I'm in this, not, not just dating, but we're in a serious relationship, mm -hmm. I've already won the battle. So there is no comparison. I'm coming, no. I'm coming second to none. No. I don't want to hear about that. I mm. need to focus on this. And I had to I had to get re, get reassurance from my uncle, Bruce Mills. He told me, he said, but son, you got to pay attention to what's going on around you. You got to tend right. to the garden that you're in. Tend to the garden that you, you know are in. And, and, yeah. and, and, and that that right there woke me up to a like you said a minute ago, see, to a lot a of red. There's a happy medium to that too, because you, you start being a garden gnome and trying to Right. Be all up in the garden, then you're gonna smother. So you gotta pay right. attention. By the same token, you gotta you gotta be able to give the the, the garden uh, time the water to grow. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? Right. exactly. I exactly, agree. Exactly. I totally agree. That's a lot of euphemism. Man. Yeah, no, it's good, man. Because uh, everybody, everybody, uh, you got to tend to the garden you in. You gotta yeah. understand how it grows, why it grows, when it grows, uh -huh. what it's when it's a good time to feed it, exactly. when it's a good time to uh. Get the weeds out the way, all you know that, what I'm saying? Oh, I'm just get some new soil for them. There are certain crops that you just can't put next to each other. That's, that's, that's true, true. That's, that's true. true. So, so, yeah, but it's not a tenant to the garden yeah, you yeah, in. You got to understand it. And so you have to know what to bring in. And yeah. I want to go back to uh, what uh, I think a comment that Chef Lee Chef made too go ahead. about the mystery and the anonymity of getting to mm. know each other and not yeah. knowing about the previous stuff. Now, some stuff you you can avoid. Mm -hmm. And some stuff, you know, you do have some pretty dangerous and tumultuous situations where you wish you should have asked something. Yeah, yeah, yeah You exactly. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when you're going into something, I do think that you need to approach it, you know, safely and just ask them, you know, because if I'm that, if I'm a certain age, first thing I want to know is, have you ever been married? Do you have any kids? Yeah, if you say, yeah, I, I've been married. Okay. All right. So you've been married. What? Uh, what what happened? I might not ask it right then, but I want to know what happened because if I'm trying to be married to you, I don't need to make those same mistakes or for you to make uh, those same mistakes. Sense, uh, you baby, might feel like it ain't none of my business. I got business. something to tell you. I got a 13 year old. <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> like, oh, hell no. <laughs> man, we've been, together, <laughs> man, we've been together five years. Now, what a 13 year old Right. So, yeah. and they said, well, you didn't ask. Well, yeah, that's yeah. shit. You didn't, yeah. ask. You, didn't ask. you didn't ask. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> right, right, right. So, we you, you say that there wasn't a lie, it was just an omission. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Uh, like, she yeah, said, okay, don't yeah. ask, don't tell. Yeah, I was yeah, like, right. right. <laughs> then the army. Yeah. Yeah. Rico had to rethink that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't ask, don't tell. Right. So, so, you know, I, I do think at some point you should ask some questions because it'll save you. Right. And, and if you didn't know what you see when you first meet somebody, you don't know what kind of person they are. Right, right. And it's gonna right, save right. you. And so, you know, somebody's gonna find you anyway because it's mm -hmm. the age of social media. So when, yeah. you, when you post that picture, they're gonna be like, oh hell. And then like how, then, then the like it's a, what's the uh, you know? what's the dating sites they on? <laughs> uh, uh Tinder. Tinder and all of that. Yeah, and people like literally right. like yeah. they literally put stuff in their profile mm -hmm. to what they think people, people want to hear. hear. Yeah. yeah, that don't even be them. So like it, that, I think that's unfair. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm mm -hmm. looking. I'm looking for compatibility, right? I'm looking to be compatible with somebody. How I'm gonna be compatible with you when you the whole thing is a lie, right? You feel what I mean? I feel you. What do you I, like? Uh, I think uh, they should charge you for lying. It was, you know what I mean? On, on yeah. Tinder, yeah. yeah. Child, yeah. Man, she lied. That one. She yeah. talking about uh, she. Uh, yeah, she five. She said she five, <laughs> but she four two. Like a restaurant Midget. get a bad dating review. Yeah, like yeah. This motherfucker get two and a half stars. Kick her off, guys. Nothing was right. Man, nothing was real. Ain't none of this shit real. It was a BBL. Well, you know, know. <laughs> these guys are getting these weaves these days. Man. I mean, shit, it's fair play, there. Making nice things they got hair. I mean, women been doing <laughs> it for years. That's another reason why I'm buying their jacket. <laughs> it, it's got on sleeves. Everything is fair play. Yeah. They wearing shoes with uh support. Make us think they taller. My <laughs> yeah. bitch. Hey, I've been doing this since junior high. Now. <laughs> That's why I, I wore Timberlands. Right, you know, Timberlands. Right. I got. I, you know, I need yeah. something with a heel. I'm on five, it. Eight. I'm <laughs> five eight and a half with my Timbo. Hey, bro, why you don't know what tennis shoes? Yeah, don't worry about it. With right. Socks on. I'm worry. taller than you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> bro, look, one day y'all walk through the house barefooted and you realize you're taller than she's she taller than you. Like, right. The fuck? <laughs> yeah. 
No, nah, it was it, it was it was the day I looked up to my son. Right, right. Hold on. Right. <laughs> Got some type of kind of way. Right, 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 right. So there, there are some questions that you know you could ask. We're gonna help you out. And um, you don't have to take this to heart because you know, like we said, we ain't not no doctors or none. We just nah. trying to help y'all. Yeah, out we just it. I mean, like you I know? rather I want some uh look, if you have my personal phone number, I'm not gonna give it out though. <laughs> but if you have my personal phone number, you can be live with OCB right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And talk about it. Get it off your chest. That's what we please, here for. Please, you know what I'm saying? Please. So go ahead, baby. Okay. So um, you probably want to ask, you know, why did you two break up sparingly? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So why did you two? Why you say uh, sparingly? What's that? Um, you say because, sparingly. Because, you know, you, you might go too far down there. You know. Right. Yeah, yeah, down that rabbit hole. But you do mm. want, you know, you do want so, to know. Why y'all, know. So why did y'all break up? Oh, that uh, motherfucker cheated. <laughs> yeah, but really, it was you. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, really what a, like, yeah, yeah. Why, yeah. But why do people actually break up? It's for uh, cheating yeah. or money. Mm -hmm. And it says, or you uh, don't have enough. Oh, you yeah. got too much you don't and, want to and, share. And, and, and the, <laughs> and the money right. will lead to the cheating. Right, right, right. That right. type of shit. And uh, right. they say you should also ask, what did you hate about them? I don't know about that. Um, what you mean, like you said? What did you? Uh, what did you hate about them? Because that's biased. But, it, but that. But but that's the first question. No. It's, so it's, it's biased. Like, I feel like what you're doing in that situation. Go what ahead. you hate about them is all you're trying to do is like build yourself up yep. a little bit better because you, you want them to hear. You mm -hmm. want to hear about how they hate this about that person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like I feel like you're, like you want them to hate them too. Fishing, for, for, I mean, it depends yeah. on who you talking oh, to, you know, but it depends on who yeah. you talking to. Cause I can take that. What What did you hate about them? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I can. Uh, damn, do I have that same characteristic? But well, see, that's what I'm you saying. You feel what I mean? Yeah, but it's nothing wrong with that. See, now yeah. you're changing your personality. To but be, but but to that's match. A, but that's okay. So, so I, so I feel so that's so okay. Said, sometimes I feel like I did that in my like by not being now, transparent. Like in my forties, I'm just like this. Is who I? But like for me, like I change daily anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like every conversation I have, every job I go to, like whatever, I change in a way. Interactive wise. Interactive wise. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I have to. Right. I have to be a comedian in, in certain kind of ways. But it. so if if all the things that's good about you outweigh the bad that what I like, yeah. I'll change that shit. As long as I know. I ask, that, well, that, that, I ask, I ask you question. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I, that's just for me. That's the point see, of being in a relationship. Forever. Right. So like when I'm talking you know, when I'm talking to a female, since I've been to sales, I, there's certain like God questions that I, that I'll ask it, so I don't find I don't end up with that girl. It's like I'll find you. Right. <laughs> 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 you crazy. And what's the name? Um, um, how long were you together? That's important. Right. Yeah, that's that's know, reasonable. If they got any uh type of commit commitment issues or right. whatever, any, any you know. So you ask them how long you were together? They say ten years. <laughs> like, like so, but why, now why y'all right up? Yeah, that's a leading question. Maybe right. you should ask that before you ask what yeah. happened. Yes, so right. How long y'all been together? How long uh, two years. Mm, what happened? Uh, uh, Twenty years. Damn. Because uh, you, you, you. Then the next and like you, uh, uh, if it's like they was unwilling to commit. Oh, you mean ask you to get married? That what you talking about? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Teddy V's checking in. Teddy V, what's in. up, people, man? What's up? Thank y'all for checking in. OCB after dog, man. We talking Salute about X Factor, man. Y'all want to say y'all peace? Go right ahead. If you scared, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> and the next question might get you in trouble too. Right, go ahead. Uh, can you see that black man strong? It says, "Do mm -hmm. you regret?" No, no, it? no. Are, are you okay? Okay, I was going back to are you gonna get it? We on another page. Yeah, yeah do you regret page. anything? Do yeah. you regret anything about your past relationship? Yeah. Who don't? I, I, I mean, <laughs> I haven't been in many relationships. I, I've been with the same woman for 30 years. I mean, but I'm saying, but they're an ex for a reason, right? So right, right, right. There's gotta but, be some regret. But, but see, here's the thing. I just, we're gonna do it like this. There's regrets in everything that you do. Yeah. Pick something. Right. Like I ain't said like you regret it to where you don't want to fuck with it no more. But it's still regrets and everything else. Or you can say, I should have done it this way. Yeah. Versus that yeah. way. You might not even call right. it regrets. You might just be like, I should have done it this way. Yeah. My first instead my of first, that. Yeah, I should have went with my first. You know, all this is right. my first relationship. I was like, man, I regret I didn't wear a condom. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> I tell I tell it's my still? I tell my son that all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me stir him and look yeah, him in the he's eyes. Like, he's like, Dad, I'm so unlucky. I'm so unlucky. I was like, bullshit. I try to get your mama to swallow. So <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Where are I <laughs> Y'all heard hey, it here. You heard it for Recon. You oh, know what I'm saying? Recon. 
Yeah. <laughs> Most honest man on earth. Yes. Right, 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 right. right, right. Now the question is, um, are you still in contact? Now that'll get you in trouble. Are you still in contact? I don't think I would ask them that. I mean, I mean, how far? But at some point, you do. They go back to their jealous partner. Just say, their jealous if, partner. Just say, if you are, uh, I don't think I ask them that. But uh, but, but say, check this out. Okay, okay. You say, uh, are you still in contact? But then you fuck around, run across them, and y'all talking you see and grinning. He right. Yeah. Hard. So yeah. to you, you like, damn. I thought, yeah, you, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. I mean, but, yeah, I only do the same because I got to pay child support. Right, but it, I mean, yeah. but still, but, but, some, the, but some people do it from like, afar. Yeah, yeah, like, if you're co-parenting, yeah, you know that's what the co-parenting. Yeah, but you know what? But you know what a red flag is, though, when they say, "Oh, we best friends." Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you no, know, no best friends. But, but we ain't no have, best. Right. If you have, I'm gonna run now. If you have the right conversation, <laughs> we best that friends happen through the co-parenting. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's about the kids. About, it's about the kids. Child. Well, see, you feel what I mean? This is my thing, though. one of the biggest problems with my wife now. That's one of the biggest problems with my wife now and my ex. At first, me and my ex didn't get along, not none at all, for the first three or four years. Mm -hmm. Right. Then we became friends because of our little one. And then, and then now, you know, but dance, you know, my wife's been in her, my, my oldest daughter's life since she was born. So that's right. to her. That's that my is her daughter. You yeah, got a bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so it's one of those where she had to look at it. She had to take a step back and look at the bigger picture too. Right. And realize that I'm not being nice to my ex because right. I still have feelings for her. I You've been a breeze for your child. I, yeah. That, you know, I, I'm doing it because I love my daughter. Damn. Damn. Right. Exactly. I'm in love yeah. with her. Right, right, right. If right, I was right. in love with her, we wouldn't be separated. Damn right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, I would have, I would have made that change. And, and, and I made and, that change for you. And, 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 and that, that is stuff. a necessary conversation to have when it's far dealing with your ex, as far as the parameters of dealing with the children. Mm -hmm. Right. But not just throwing them up in your face saying, Well, I think you're doing this. That, why? Well, see, like you got years, you gotta figure out why they feel that way. Well, see, like uh 10 years ago, if something was happening with my ex and I came to her defense, mm -hmm. oh, that would have been an argument. Right. Now, like just recently, something happened where she actually needed some help. Mm -hmm. My wife was like, "We need to help her." That's it. Yeah, but it had to come listen, from. It did have. It had to come from her, though, right? But, 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 listen, well, well, even if I said, but but it's one of those situations where she would. She if even if I would have said something like now right. to her, she would have agreed with me just yeah, because. Right. Uh, just because of the time. It's the baby. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Time, like you said, time heals all wounds. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. This wasn't even a wound, but time healed. The situation right right because, right right because the dynamics have changed remember yeah, yeah, when yeah, i was yeah. having a conversation with you the other day and i was saying like when when the kids come into play like as far as you know my ex her kids we have a certain bond like i, I look at them like they're my kids because of, of the mm. relationship like you said the, the time, the time with them, and, and, that, and i'm not that type of person that that is gonna be so cold-hearted to cut a child off when i know right. I was, they ain't do nothing and i was in that position to, to play that, that role as a father yeah. a father figure or whatever, whatnot. Then it don't. It, it it it's same with my child. They didn't ask you to play that part. You played that. Part. I, right. I played that part. So you know what I'm saying? That, that, I stopped. But when people try to manipulate, I didn't stop fucking with the kids. Come on, now. But, but, but some people try to use it to an advantage. Right. Yeah, like, like 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 as far as the question go, are you still in contact with them? On what level? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And right. I hear. So do y'all? So did y'all say like just say uh when when things happen and uh uh uh, uh the woman or oh, man get. You know, get involved with somebody else, and but y'all still had the same dynamic. These are not your kids. That could be tricky. That's no, what I'm saying. Not. And y'all, and I'm talking about what y'all talking about. Like these yeah. are my kids. I feel right. like they yeah. mine. But, the next but now person, the next person you know, come in, like you, yeah. Why do they still? They might hit the kid no damn way. Them, you know what I'm saying? Right. Kid, so why do you, he still over here? Do you, you know? talk about that? Like how yeah, do you? Yeah, you how should, you get past no, that's, transition? That's something, yeah, the transition. That's probably something you should discuss up front. You like, yeah, you know. I agree. That's what I'm saying. Like, I got an ex. My kids are still kind of attached. Too. Right, right, and, but that's uh, not their that father. A, but yeah, right. he was a father figure to right. them. Yeah. And if you want to continue this relationship with me, I'm gonna need you to accept that. Now you don't have to. Yeah, but I'm just letting you know up front that um he might be coming around because that's mm -hmm. the only father figure that they know. Right. Now that's different. It's right. Different, yeah. Or even if the kids start be coming around on their own, and you have really because we kind of in a situation. I ain't gonna say no name. We kind of in a situation like that <laughs> where these are uh, these my babies. Yeah. yeah. But babies. they, you know, and they really ain't got nothing to do with it. But we raise them. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't care about no. And then when they get grown, we don't care. But somebody else be like, damn, you know, the fuck that kids and. 
You know what I'm saying? Right. They ain't got nothing. Y'all yeah, been whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna. I'm trying not to say no name. You know what I'm saying? None of this shit. But I'm I'm still like D my babies though. Right. I I raised this girl. I helped raise this girl, Be, and she got babies. So them my babies too. See, this is an, this you feel what I mean? It's the Bob. I don't give a damn what now. It's the father. Just you just a father. So that means me and you, the other whoever you with, we gotta have a conversation on the yeah. I don't mean no harm, brother, or whatever. Right. I've been with the, you. Know what I'm saying? Right. But just tell them whoever I gotta tell. Look, D right. my babies though. Mm. I've been around them too long. You know, what and, I mean? and then so, furthermore, I know, I know if my wife say if something happened between me and my wife, right? Right. And she leaves. My oldest daughter, like, even though she's not blood, that is her little girl. And right. whoever comes into the relationship yeah. is gonna have. They're gonna know. I know for a fact. This is what it is. It's right. Right. Girl. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Like my ex-wife and my oldest son. She she was around him since he was four years old. It's like her. It's like her first child. Right. Before she had any child with me, she was always around in his life. And then they were they 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 had they they own a bond. Right. You know right. Whether they they bump heads or mm -hmm. if he appreciate whatever. And I stay out of it. You know what I'm saying? So there's certain things you need to bring into a relationship. I think there's a, like certain things you need to bring into your relationship. Yeah. Like, look, this Parameters, is this, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, like let, let people understand so, how you you know, also also though, you know, yeah. you know how people talk about when you have money, you need to live within your means, right? Right, right, right. I feel like the same of, situation with a relationship you need to live within your means it's dope right because mm -hmm. it's real bro you trying to so a lot of times you will lower your standards or lower your means like so you break up with somebody now i'm gonna go to the bar and i'm gonna go you know i'm gonna hit up the first so, yeah so whoever well, just now, now show me some attention yeah, the first yeah, 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 yeah. yeah now you need to keep that level and of now you got this person you baggage want, you know right. live within the means that that you set forth right right so so you don't want to go you don't want to date somebody who don't want kids and you got three mm. Yeah, be a talk. Are they, are right, they right. deal with to, yeah. 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 You yeah. have to ask yeah. those questions. So you're like, yeah. what are some of the necessary questions you should ask in a relationship? Uh, we have twelve ways to accept your partner's past. Okay. I think that's what we not did. twelve play y'all. Twelve Man, ways. No, <laughs> Jeb, Car, Jeb Car, R. Kelly, Mike finna get out. Don't mean <laughs> one. We we'll go to my room of fun. Two. Two. And now say give me your tongue three. Cause <laughs> tonight I'm gonna fulfill yeah, your fantasy. fantasy. Yeah. 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 Or now we're gonna stop. Lie <laughs> down on the floor. Five. I just can't wait Robert. to come Robert. and try. Robert. Six. Robert. Everything that's broken. <laughs> I'll fix. Yeah. Robert. Okay, oh, seven. <laughs> no. Robert. <laughs> Uh, oh. okay, put him back in the key. Right, put him back in the key. He said, put him back in the Karaoke is later. <laughs> it's, a, it's a party after the party. Yeah, that's the after party. You know we I'll do. be strong you up and down. No, <laughs> All right, now. I'm feeling some type of way in this corner. <laughs> okay, let me get myself together. Yeah. All right. Except the <laughs> oh, except the pain. Y'all just break out with really? songs and shit. Hey, we random as hell. <laughs> random okay, hell. I know this they is... got to do with anything. <laughs> I know this is a little look over here in of uh, our um our pie. <laughs> it's <laughs> out there. Uh, they said um y'all can go look it. this up. Twelve ways to accept your partner's past. We didn't make this stuff up, but yeah, yeah, yeah go look for it. It says uh talk to them about it. We already said that. Mm -hmm. Tell them your concerns. Put yourself in their shoes. We talked about empathy. Yeah. Consider what aspect bothers you. You know, don't let don't let it invade your thoughts. So don't be, you know, dwelling on it and right, right, right. You know, and I know it's hard because you're wondering. And if a person don't want to answer the question, just I mean, yeah, yeah. they just ain't ready to talk just about say, it. Just, you know, I, I don't want to talk about shit. that. But you yeah. know, I'm gonna ask you, so I don't right, care right, because right. I need to know who I'm getting involved with. It's right. too much going on out here for me to not know anything about you. So it's I'm gonna ask you the question because I want to know what happened. You probably had her in the closet, not in the basement somewhere, right? Scratching on the right. walls. I don't know, so yeah. I need to make sure Still what got happened. something going on right. inside. Right. Mm -hmm. I need to know what happened, so I'm sorry if that bothers right. you. Keep it moving, okay? Think about how you feel about them. Um, trust them, you know, follow your instincts, and that's just what I'd say. You know, they being overly secretive, they don't want to tell you because if you tell me if I ask you, uh, so have you ever been married? He's like, Yeah, that was a long time ago. I want to talk about it. Okay, why? What 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 what's going on? Because there probably need to be something I need to be concerned if about. If it's so long ago, it shouldn't be that hard to talk about. You know, uh, right. And Unless you ain't got over it. Because right. those are things you do when you get to know somebody. 
and you say I was married. Yeah, I have four kids. Mm -hmm. They grown, or uh, I got three of them grown and one of them four. Wait mm -hmm. a minute, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> you said y'all was only together for such and such. Yeah, one of them four. Your yeah. mouth ain't mouthing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. Your two and two ain't plus and four. Yeah, so that four year old, that four year old is still gonna cause her to be in our lives. So right, I need right. to know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Be. Yeah. <laughs> Four years old and everybody else 25. Yeah, yeah. Follow your instinct. We talked about that. Be aware of your own path. Yeah. Because you know what? Just be like you answer that That's, question. Be aware of yours. your own yeah. past. Not yeah. unaware of people. You know that bullshit you did. Come on now. You know what you did. Like, come on now. Don't play with me. I don't you need them. Keep... I don't need them looks from across the room like we in the town that you, you can't from. keep telling me. Look, that you look, know... they walking that street. <laughs> No, nah, no, nah, this is my thing. You, know, they, you can't tell me that you on baby you know daddy about? number five and they was all the problem. Come on now, damn. You got 10 babies and five baby daddies and they the problem. Yeah, everybody you with Tell me you the truth. A, you got a member, a, a member what is it? Huh? Memorandum. Yeah. Memorandum. You got yeah. something to remember them. Yeah. Yeah. Don't right. allow yourself to be jealous. We talked about that, y'all. Don't, don't be letting that. We have a, a show about envy and jealousy. Y'all go check yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, I don't know where the episode out. is. You know what I'm saying? We'll put it on the next one. Yeah, together. check it out. Yeah. Keep at it. And um, and the last one's very important. Now, you know if you're crazy, you need to seek some therapy. Seek mm -hmm. Now, not just if you're crazy, because I don't want to use that word, but some people, they out here. and, and they, they shit. Yeah. They fucked up. <laughs> they messed yeah. up. So you need to get you some help before you get in the last relationship. And I wanted to say this. This is not on there, but I just wanted to say sometimes, you know, people get into relationships too fast. Yeah, so you got to close and that for the door. wrong reason. You got to yeah, close that door reason. and lock it and shut it up and mm -hmm. get all the skeletons and let them fall out the closet or whatever you got to do yeah. under the bed. But you can't just jump into another relationship because you have not cleared the baggage from the other one. True. And you I'm know? going to say this: uh, money ain't a reason to get in a relationship. No. no, that ain't the purpose. We like money, but no. That's uh, that it, it should never be the reason. It should never be the reason. See, that's why a lot of people get divorced and not together and True. always mad at each other simply because money ain't right. Right. That shouldn't be the reason y'all together though. They think they you know think I mean? they think it's Sorry. infidelity and everything, but but yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. but but it's actually really right. actually the the money the, the financial situation yeah. leads to all that other shit. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was gonna, I was gonna touch on that too. Go ahead. Until Miss Conquer Fantasy <laughs> yeah. had said had said what you know, you do got after a relationship, sometimes you just got I've got old enough to know myself. So now, like, I, I think a lot more than I used to right. because it used to be, man, how do you get over this relationship? Well, you get back on top of another one, you know, and that right. was that was the man. That's, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I was talking about earlier when I was like, you have to uh, have the live within your means gotcha. in, in your mind in for your who mind. you are yeah. right. because you because the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over, oh, over and, and, over. and expecting different <laughs> results. So if you right. keep going to that uh, to that that. That female at the bar, you know, you're gonna be with the bar fly type be, of bitch. Yeah. <laughs> like, like dude, uh, excuse my language. Like dude was uh, last night, man. He had two chicks on the end. He was talking to him, had a good time. They went to the restaurant. He moved on down to the next two. You know what I'm saying? That was and then player, he moved player. to he moved to another one that From was the Himalayas. And now everybody he had this frame who he was. Now all of them is sitting at the bar all the time together the whole mm -hmm. time, but they weren't conversating because dude was on the end just talking to these two. Yeah. When they left, he now he brought everybody together and just bought shots for everybody. Now everybody looking at him like, well, you got to buy all of them now. Damn, but you, well, I mean, well, he's just playing the coach. He's playing the field. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. right, right. Yeah. So. He, he, yeah. hey, he did a thing, but he was looking sick like he saw that ticket. I saw him when they gave him the receipt. He cried. Hey, he looking at it like, is this, <laughs> is, is this American? Hey, no, no, no. This, this is how they he do. This is No, this is what they do. They call it worse. He cry when he got in the car. They, uh, <laughs> this right. You stop. Look, he get the point and shit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah, you bought it. Hey, off subject. Why, why didn't y'all tell me I look like anonymous? <laughs> I look like I'm ready to steal somebody's damn credit right now, man. I'm going to steal all their information. He's V. Right, right. For real, I gotta shave that shit off. <laughs> God, that shit is dope. He got the guy box going. I got yeah. secrets. <laughs> and then look, we just paid. No, remember, yeah. remember the fifth of November. Right, well, y'all crazy. Right there. Damn, look, look, at, look at that shit. I just noticed that. I was like, damn. <laughs> Did we get taken over? Yeah. <laughs> okay, give him a plot twist while you got the mic. Oh, yeah. The plot. plot twist. Plot twist. Oh no. Lord, we tried to avoid that. Here what? we go. <laughs> What if Shit. it was a relationship? What if it? Uh, 
what if it was not a relationship but a fling or some mm. someone they used to fool around with? Do you talk about it? Nah, I ain't talking. I mean, no, because I might want to fool back around. Nah, but if they're across, <laughs> but if they, I mean, that's, that's why it's called a fling. That's why it's, hey. So you with your woman, and they just go. So this fling, come touch you on your touch on your side. What do you do? I'm like, mm. how's your mom and them? <laughs> <laughs> or do what that's I gonna be one code time. for get the fuck away. Well, <laughs> this shit happened to me one time oh, in the not, past. I, was, I think I think I was at the zoo. Yeah, and then a, a, a fling or whatever you want to call them walked up, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> like I'm at the zoo. No, no, with my and, kids. And, I know, and then, and then your girl say, like, "Who is that?" Be like somebody used to monkey nah, around. No, with. <laughs> no, no. She tapped me. Now, mind you, we weren't together at the time. Oh, what did they say? Oh, uh, you. But she about tapped me on my week. shoulder. She was like, she's waving at you, and I'm like, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep walking to the damn gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> we just go over to the I'd, I'd have been like, I told you, baby, I, you got one. Oh, she probably just saw me yeah, on the podcast. Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now then she had the audacity to walk up, and I was so I was like, what? Like, then what? She, what if she had, then she would have said, so you don't remember me from last week? It wasn't last week though. <laughs> it wasn't, that's what I would have said. Did you know it wasn't last week? Last month. Some <laughs> <laughs> month ago. All right, man. Nah. We don't get nobody trouble for that. But it can't happen, man. Like you can really yeah. I ain't. I ain't gonna tell you about my indiscretions, but uh it, it happens and you 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 can you kind of uh bring some of that baggage with you, you know what I'm saying? It'll tear down your house, you know what I mean? Yeah, it yeah, will until gotta, you learn how to, have to build it back up. Yeah, you should learn how to build it back up, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think I just said, you know, that would be a plot twist because not everybody that you get in uh well, you don't always get into a relationship. You know, you have people that you just talk to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not a relationship, but they're coming into your other relationship. You got to yeah. cut that off. Right? Yeah. You know? like, I think we talk about like mo- like people have work husbands and work wives. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the fact of the matter, a lot of people work. You be at work and one of you be yeah. at home. And I think we talked, I forgot what episode we talked day. about this yeah. before. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you get attached <laughs> to people. Yeah. Now, so do you tell your, your wife that, you know, I got this chick. You know what I'm saying? It's more so uh, yeah, you know? the environment. Baby, he's it gay. Is. And baby, people like, make baby, it comfortable. He's gay. They're like, I don't know. I got to see this motherfucker for myself. Right. I'll be the judge if he's gay or not. Yeah. <laughs> I got to shake this motherfucking hand. <laughs> I'll be the judge. Yeah, I would. Cause you talking about, like, I talked to him. He's so funny. He was just before the lunch and shit together. Hold up. It's the lunch. Yeah. Hold up. Nah, but he just, he, Fuck he, y'all he just lunch. one of the girls. Yeah. No, 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 no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. And then you know I don't want him. You know that ain't my type. You seen kick ass too, right? He was playing like he was one of the girls till he, he got the girl. You know? <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah, so you just got to be careful about the baggage you should bring in yeah. because you don't want to get um bring that into your other relationship. That's yeah. like you want to act like if you want to act sweep it on the rug and act like they never existed and y'all never had those problems. Hey, that's you, but it, they don't they don't come out because yeah, sometimes some kind you of got way. a tendency to group people together. Right. Like, I hate it when people say, and I don't do this, so don't y'all come for me. But I like when people say, oh, uh, uh, women this and women that. No, right. the ones that you deal with. Was like exactly. That. Maybe I'm with that's you. something I'm going on with you. I'm with you 100% on this. That's something going on Stop with doing these blanket ass, yeah, divisive so ass statements. All men is this and men right. is old it's divisive. men. I don't do that because and I can't body. group men in one category because right. everybody is unique and different. And Stop that, you know, going and we in the trash. Different personalities, so I can't say, uh, well, a man just this and that. So I hate it when they group all women yeah. together and yeah. say women this and the problem right. with women and women don't do this. And I, I don't like that now. It's not no a, show it, y'all, stuff. Do y'all, see her eye, do y'all see her eyebrows, people? She's dead serious. <laughs> she, she did. I don't know. I just kind of scared shit at me. I had to reevaluate myself. <laughs> like, I don't think it right there. So do I do something? <laughs> no, you don't do that. Because if you did Bite that, your tongue. No, but she was so mad that, about it. I right. feel like, what the fuck did I do? You know what I'm saying? If you did that, we wouldn't be together. I would say that you do treat me equally. Um, I don't have. Yeah, I let her. I swear, cause I let her take out the garbage and everything. <laughs> <laughs> we equally did, motherfucker. That's all right. fool. Why the, hell, yo, why the hell are you telling yeah. me you saw him a fool? <laughs> and I let him wash the dishes and clean up. Right. <laughs> Please don't send them in no cooking. This motherfucker barbecue uh, every other day. Guy, and you better and know you it, Jay. Beat his meat. You better ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, man. Look, <clears throat> there's a lot of ways to uh, talk about a relationship. Your ex is with your new. 
You know what I mean? Figure it out though. You know what I mean? Because it's still important. Respect the person that you're with while yeah, you're talking it's still about important the person to talk that about you, it. you know what I'm saying? With. You have to like, I know you shouldn't gauge people, but you should gauge people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The right time. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you ain't gonna do it society way. Right, right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah gauge yeah, yeah, them yeah. internally. Yeah, you're like, you know, it might be the right time to do this. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Even if it's no, because you can still tell. People still, like, I like you play poker. <laughs> You still like you around a person a certain amount of time. They have what they what you, what you call it. They have uh, poker face. They have tails. Tails. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> tails, yeah, yeah. Tails. Yeah. Everybody got a tail, so you don't know when a good time to if you paying attention. Right. And so that's the main thing about in a relationship. And that's, that's, pay that's attention a, to your uh. That's the, the 10, red flag. Look, ten to the garden you in flag. and pay attention. Yeah. You know, going back to that fling thing. Yeah. The reason why I ain't saying nothing about the fling is. It's because there's certain folks that you have relationships with. Mm-hmm. There's certain folks that you just, both of you, just, you good at sex, yeah. you ain't good at talking. I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. you know, it's like, was it good? Great. All, All right, peace. Good, good day. Yeah, right. yeah, I'll see you too much. Good day. <laughs> right. Thursday. Yeah. You know? And, 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 right, right, right. Until it's just gone all together. Yeah, 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 and then it, and then it just dwindles. Those are those yeah, because it don't mean nothing. No, it don't mean shit. Don't mean shit. No. It, but then you got to figure out where you are in your relationship when you're dealing with shit. About that. I got a question about that. Oh um, lord, <laughs> Mr. Recon John. Shit, <laughs> this, nigga got, this motherfucker got me in trouble. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Bah! Okay, you said. Uh, okay, so you said it don't mean nothing. Okay, so how Turn my can mic you? <laughs> it, it means something to you. <laughs> look, look, he came with that. <laughs> when you get that old face, it's like, ah. uh, that old saying, you know. you know, no emotions. So there's no emotions. So uh, let's say y'all got a fling fling going and y'all been flinging for. <laughs> I thought you were giving me a signal. Look. <laughs> and y'all she she you know, she <laughs> yeah, she like, when I rub my beard, that means no, cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's the poker tail. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all been flinging for maybe two years. Hey, Terrell, so, let me know when this conversation So over. you're saying that y'all can fling for two years and you not feel nothing? No, see, I've been watching freeporn.com for, <laughs> for, for, for like, for like that's five a or six yeah. years, and I still ain't got no feelings for it. That's a fling, yeah. <laughs> I just like seeing ass and titties. Well, what well, Sis talking about is a relationship. No, no, but... Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, like, like, like I do, I have feelings. So, so here's the deal. Like I have feelings for that person while I'm trying to get them undressed, and they get me undressed, and then, and then after after the uh, O face, um, <laughs> you know, I throw her a towel, say, "Hey, appreciate you," right? And then she's like, "Hey, yeah, no, nah, you know, I want you, yeah, nah." <laughs> Just, <Ooh>. but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not trying to be insensitive, but like the yeah. moral of that story is, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Everybody wants to help each other until you get fucked. And then after right. that, yeah. you're done. Uh, exactly. So, no, I just, you know, I think, I think when you have say, I think it's more of not feelings as it is attraction. Yeah. Right. And so, so yeah. you may be really attracted to that person. So, fling. Oh. We talked about that. That's, that's, that's the core point. Should, should, should this should no, be brought up? In, in my, in, no, because, because then that that's, no feelings, no, no, no because, ties, okay, no so, nothing. so my wife and I've been together. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. See, I don't. Once I got married, that 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 was it, baby. That was. No, he looked at the camera yeah. like that was it. <laughs> Look at the eyebrows. You know I'm serious. Matter of so, fact, he looked at the sister and said, "Shit, no, it's real." You know that shit. I looked at no, a woman I, and said this. <laughs> but see, but yeah, I don't. I don't want. I don't want. You know, after twelve years of being with somebody, I don't want an argument. Well, if you had that feeling, would you like about it? Would you? I don't want to explain that shit to you. Right. Like, I felt that way. That was the purpose of doing it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, not yeah. To I, I, was tar- I was tired of, <laughs> I was tired of fucking uh, mowing Joe in it and hitting bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, then yep. the moral of the story is, God damn it, tell on yourself. Nah. <laughs> Might as well. Look, turn your head and walk real fast. <laughs> All right, so do we even need to wrap it up? Or? I think we don't. I think we don't. <laughs> Always wrap it up. Yeah. Always wrap it up. Uh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Hey, I, I think we about covered everything. We don't need to have a wrap up moment. No, nah, we don't. Like I was just like, I enjoyed it. my uh cast for the day. Man, Mugs and Mo, man, Black Man, Strong, Recon, John is in the building. Uh, Strawberry Fantasy, and, to a near you. and me, <laughs> the one and only. Oh, 
and I also want to say everybody for tuning in. Everybody tuning in. Thank you. Thank still, y'all. Uh, still sharing after we off. And you know what I'm saying? I love y'all for the comments and uh, what all everybody said. And like like we say, we try to make this thought provoking. And you guys still think about it. Like, seriously. And talk about like, it. We are always talk serious about, about what we do. We it. try to do things to make uh, your your uh, relationship better. Even yeah. your personal life or whatever yeah. it is. You know what I mean? But go about it the right way. If you need mental help, uh, Get go it. seek it. You know what I mean? Uh, Talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. You know, to get I'm sitting through. here with my psychiatrist right now. Right, right. Because <laughs> <It's life coach. laughs> a lot of yeah. a lot of people use relationship as a vice to escape too. Don't right. get it twisted. Like, you know, some people do because I know people that just really don't need to be in a relationship yeah. at all. Cause they need to fix themselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that's gonna be another show. And this your boy OCB. OCB. Man. And we out. Uh. Uh. On the weekend, we gonna ride and chill and do what players do. No more working. We gonna get fresh to death and shoes up on a few. Because we're real, baby, and that's just what we do. Let's fight the hottest fights on the weekend.